Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you're new or haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and let's go from there. So today I am doing um, a paper tutorial. Um, let me find one. It's just these chunky notebooks from the dollar store. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And I'm selling for $3. So no two for five on these are too much. Um, so I'm going to go into that tutorial after this and, um, I've already filmed the tutorial. So this is just like a, hello, nice to see you again. Here's the intro kind of thing. Um, sorry, my hair is driving me nuts. Um, and I ended the two, the, the vlog in the tutorial. So, um, that's good. So, um, last, um, last vlog sorry um i talked about tropical store at the time it was tropical storm dorian it is now it was then became a very strong eventually turned into a category five hurricane and absolutely pummeled parts of the bahamas and um i i I, I just sat there and cried to be honest with you the pictures of these people in their houses and or what's left of their houses and their towns and you know the biggest hurricane I've ever been through was a cat three I went through Charlie in 2004 and then came Francis and then came Jean um, I think Francis was a cat two and Charlie and Jean were cat threes Charlie was absolutely devastating um, it took a long time to get over Charlie and um, so I can't even imagine what a cat four or a cat five is like. Um, and these poor people, it's absolutely heartbreaking to be honest with you. Um, what all they're going through and, um, just the total devastation and loss. Um, at work, we are going to be a donation drop off for, um, those people who are able to, um, you know, donate. Um, those of you that are local and know me, um, consider it it's just simple stuff, toilet paper, paper towels, cleaning supplies, um, batteries, food items that won't go bad, can, you know, canned food, stuff like that. These, these people, first aid, uh, you know, um, band-aids, uh, neosporin, that kind of thing. These people lost everything. And, um, it's, it's all I can do at this point is to do donations and to be a donation center. So, you know, we, we narrowly missed it. Um, it was going to be a cat four coming in here and it turned north west. So went up a little bit and, um, then slowed down to a cat two, you know, um, I was really worried. I didn't do a, a vlog for a couple of days, just trying to get everything in order, but went to Walmart. Oh Lord. Y'all. I did a call in order, not the call in order. We order on the app and then you pick it up. I think it's called a pickup order maybe. Um, and I just happened to do it one morning at like five o'clock in the morning and they still had stuff in stock. But when I got there, they were out of everything. I mean, the shelves were completely bare. Um, and this was Thursday, last Thursday, a week today. Um, you know, and it's just, it, you know, we, we panic. Um, here in Florida. I mean, I, I say that we're really strong when it comes to hurricanes. We're, we're very united. We are ready to face it. But at the same time, we panic when it comes to gas and getting cash and getting food and water. Because in, when Charlie hit in 2004, nobody was prepared. It did a little, I mean, just a tiny little and slammed into us. And um, it wasn't supposed to hit us at all. And then, and, and nobody was prepared because it wasn't supposed to hit us. Um, that was the year of the hurricane 2004. I mean, it went, it, it was just like my dad used to say, it was like an X-rated version of Groundhog's Day. Um, so now I think that everybody pays attention and is ready because I mean, we had no power, we had no gas. Um, you know, there were 
ATMs were down, stores were closed, there was no food, no water. I mean, it was just, I mean, we were not like the Bahamas, please understand that. We were not like New Orleans and Pascagoula, Mississippi when it hit, like it was with Katrina. Please understand that. I am in no way, shape, or form um, comparing the two or saying that we had it anywhere near as bad because we didn't. We were very lucky in that sense. But for our area, as ill-prepared as we were and the damage that we sustained, it was, it was pretty bad and pretty scary. Um, could have been a lot worse back then. Honest to God, it could have been. Um, we were very lucky that a Cat 3, almost 4, came through and that's and we only had the damage we did but it was pretty devastating to us and you know like i said i'm not comparing it in any way shape or form please understand that um but for us it was pretty scary and pretty bad so anyways away from hurricane talk because um i truly believe there's not going to be another one this year we're not going to deal with it again um so back to everyday things this is an item that i am selling at my craft fair super easy super easy to do um, you use about 60 cents worth of material, six zero cents worth of material, you sell it for three bucks, and it's kind of fun to do. Um, I'm whipping through them, I have 30 to do. I am on like number 17. I had to um, take a break and I had to go with my mom. Gabby McLabby, the little black lab, she's not little, she's short and stout, my baby girl. Um, I went with her today uh, to the chiropractor for her. She She's having some back issues, a lot like my Gypsy is. Uh, not nearly as bad as Gypsy, but um, still it's painful, you know what I mean? Um, so we had to get that taken care of. She's gonna go back in two weeks. So I, I um, had to stop or else I'd be done already. I'm gonna go ahead and get into that and get that taken care of. So um, I probably have talked enough. You guys are probably like, oh my gosh, is she ever gonna shut up? And the answer is no, I'm, I'm never gonna stop talking. I will talk, I talk in my sleep even. I talk all the time. It's who I am. I could never be myself, I could never be Danny at all if I wasn't talking, you know? It's just what I do. Um, so anyways, um, that's about it. Uh, we are going to be going to Disney on Saturday. We're gonna go to Epcot as food and wine. I'm gonna try to take my camera. We'll see how it goes. Um, not really sure, because I'll be with my husband and he does not want to be on the vlog at all. So I'm not sure what kind of footage I can get, if any at all, so um, we'll see. But anyways, I got, this is a first. I have Luca in the sewing room, but no Gypsy. Hold on guys. Hey, Pooks. Oh, and then I said her name. Here comes the baby. Hey, Lulu. Say hi. What is that? Is that a camera? Oh, big stretch girl. And then Jessie. Jessie's like, I'm not going to be outdone. Let me show you my nose. Gypsy girl. Look at Puka, looking so pretty. So anyways, I just had to include the babies. It's been a few vlogs since they've been in it and you know, they're such a huge part of my life that, obviously, because I put them in the opening of my vlog. So anyways, this is where I sign off and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. I hope you're able to make some of this stuff. If you don't have a craft fair coming up, if you just have kids or you want to make teachers presents, that kind of thing, it's fun for all of that. It's, and it's easy peasy. You can go to um, Dollar Store, pick up a few of these notebooks, um, and then head to Tuesday morning and pick up a small pad of paper and you're good to go. So anyways, um, leave a comment below, give me thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit subscribe. <laughs> Thanks so much. You guys have a good one. Bye. All right guys, here we go. So there's a few things you're gonna need um, today to make this project. You need a scoreboard. If you don't have a scoreboard, truly do not worry about it. This just makes it a thousand times easier. It really does. Um, you can measure it out and score it on your own or you can just fold it um, as we're doing it and go from there. I love this. It was, I got it at Hobby Lobby. I used my 40% off coupon and I got it for under $10. It was worth every penny. I use it constantly um, for every, literally I think, two there are two paper pro projects i've done that i've not used it on i've used it on at least 20. um it's a very good deal it's a very good um thing to have around so you're gonna need that you're gonna need 
Um, let's use pink. This is pink. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I got this at um, the dollar store. Let me get it up close for you. There you go. It's a mini writing tablet. It comes with, I don't know if you can see. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Let's try to focus on all the stuff on the back. There we go. It comes with five individual, they're, they're, they're put together, but it comes with five separated little tablets. You need one of those. You're gonna need this bone folder right here. It came with my scoreboard, so I'm gonna be using that one. Normally I use this one, but I'm gonna use this one instead today. Because it's very simple, we don't need. Actually, that's not true, I'm gonna use them both. Because <laughs> I'm gonna use the, the big one, this one, to burnish. Um, I just love it for burnishing, and I love it, and I'll explain burnishing as well. Um, and you're gonna need a piece of paper cut down to 10 and a half by three and a half. 10 and a half length, obviously three and a half width. So let's get started. Just kind of ignore the mess on my desk because I'm going to do, be mass producing these like crazy today. Oh, and you're also gonna need some adhesive. Um, some people use tape. I use this bad boy. It's Art Glitter Glue. This stuff is amazing. It dries super fast um, and it's permanent. Um, and I would highly suggest if you do get it that you get the, the tip that comes with it. Sometimes, sometimes you can buy it on Amazon as a kit. Otherwise, other times you have to buy it separately. But it has this pin that goes in it too that, because I'm on the vlog, it's gonna be difficult. It um, helps keep it um, from stopping up. And I know it looks like just a regular sewing pin, but you can't use a regular sewing pin on this. It rusts really bad. The whole bottle will go bad and then you're out 10 bucks or so. Having said that, I've been using this one for, sorry y'all, again with my phone. I've been using this one, this one's to here. It's, it's to about here, and I've been using it for a couple of months. So while it seems a little bit on the expensive side, especially when you compare it to Elmer's, if you will, um, it lasts forever and it's just so good. It's worth it. So anyways, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. And you're gonna go ahead and separate them out, see? You're gonna take the first two off, but this is really important when you do it. You take the top one, There we go. Hi. <laughs> so you take the very top one and then the one underneath it, but you leave the chipboard backing behind. So you have chipboard on the front and chipboard on the back. Carefully remove it and put this to the side. Um, we're gonna use this on a different um, tutorial later. So go ahead and save it. We're not gonna be wasting it at all. So you, have, you should have chipboard, paper, chipboard, paper, chipboard, paper, chipboard. I don't know if that makes any sense or not. Um, let's see. So it should look like that. Easy peasy. So now we're gonna take our paper. I am using double-sided because I just, I thought this one was so pretty. It's sparkly, it's metallic, it's just really, really pretty. Let me see if I can get it. There you go. So I chose this one, it's double-sided, which you know, you put pretty side or right side down, and you're gonna score it at five and five and a half. Just simple, five and five and a half. That's it. Make sure you don't press so hard that it goes through, because then you waste the paper, and you gotta start over. So go ahead and fold it back to where you've got the pretty side on, on the outside, and we're just gonna take those score lines and just press them down. So we're gonna use our bone folder for that, our small one or whichever one you prefer. So it's gonna look something like this. Sorry guys, it's really trying to concentrate on all the stuff behind me. So here's your fold, your five and a half and your five where you scored it. Um, So anyways, you kind of get the point. I don't know why it's not focusing, so I apologize. Usually if I do this, it tends to focus better. But anyways, so now we're gonna take our pad of paper, spine side up. This is the loose side, this is the spine side. And we're just gonna try it on. Just make sure it fits. It should fit very well. You wanna make sure the whole thing's covered, front and back all the way to the bottom on both sides, which it is, and the spine, okay? 
So let's go ahead and do the first side. The first side, what we're gonna do, just, just pick a side. At this point in time, it does not matter what side you use. We're gonna do the spine. In the spine, you can go a little bit liberal with the glue, because it's gonna have to stick. So, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this or not. But see, that's the glue I used on that. And then you're just gonna go ahead and glue everything down. Make sure you get the sides and the bottom because you're gonna get the top. And then just give it some glue in the middle to stick. Okay, take it, make sure you do spine side to the spine. I know that sounds silly, but I have to tell myself that every time. Every single time I have to tell myself that. All right, go ahead. Make sure it, mat it matches all the way down. This is burnishing. You are essentially moving out any air bubbles that there may be. This one shouldn't have any air bubbles, but you never know, depending on the paper you use, it could. This is basically, you're, you're making it kind of meld together. Make sure you burnish the living snot out of the spine. Take it, bang it down a few times. All right. You wanna make sure that that spine is really well adhered. Now, we're gonna do the second piece. Just make sure you get the top and the sides and the bottom, obviously. And just give it some glue in the middle. So that's what I'm talking about. We're using such a little amount. Let me see if I can get it to focus. See, it's really not that much. That's why I don't mind spending a little bit of money. Or it's probably for glue, it's a little, it's a little pricey. But uh, make sure you burnish it really well. Um, this is how I burnish: side to side, up and down. Just make sure you get it adhered really well. And then I am going to, and I should have done this first. And I apologize. Let me go see if I can find one real quick. You're gonna need to cut apart some sort of embellishment for the front because um, you want it to be pretty and not boring. So let's see what we can find here. I'm looking for, and I know I've got them. Oh, here they are. Um, looking for some sort of pink, probably unicorn type deal that's gonna fit so let's see this is what cut aparts look like and they're part of um, they're usually part of your paper pad um, let's see what do we want to let's there's one right here it says glimmer and shimmer let's use that one because it's very shimmery so I do apologize I should have done this ahead of time but I didn't so let's let's get on it and do it right now all right Glimmer and shimmer. Apologize, guys. I try to have everything usually like dead on and ready to roll. Um, and this time I didn't. Apologize. So when you're picking out something, you wanna pick out something that number one matches color wise. And number two, um, that's kind of appropriate for what it is you're doing. Like this one, this is the one I chose. It's, it's backwards because I have this thing pulled up, but it says glimmer and shimmer. And I'm just gonna put it right here in the middle and it just dresses it up. If you wanted to get really, 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 um, extra, if you wanna get really, really extra with it, you can give it a little bit of a background, um, which I think I'm going to do, in all honesty. It's going to give it a little bit. Layering in the craft world is what makes the world go around. It really does. And then, just take your paper cutter again. Like I said, sorry guys, normally I would have this completed ahead of time but I really wasn't thinking and recycle guys either reuse 
reuse your paper, different projects, or recycle. We gotta take care of this earth. Not the time to get into that during tutorials. <laughs> Maybe on a rant vlog or something like that. So anyways, I just added a little bit, and this, you can't really tell, but this is a super, super light pink, so I put a white behind it. So go ahead and line it. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Sorry, guys. Go ahead and, and give it some glue. And then put it where you feel is in the middle. I, I feel that right there is in the middle. The good thing about this glue is it gives you a little bit, not a whole lot guys, just a little bit of time to kind of finagle it, move it back and forth. And there you go. You have a really cute notebook. I'm gonna sell this one for $3 at my craft fair and I think it'll go good. This is what it looks like on the side, <laughs> the back, another side, and the front. All right guys, it's that simple. Um, go get you some of those notebooks, they're a dollar a piece. It's gonna go to two projects, so technically you're spending 60 cents on this, plus your paper, which if you have, if you do have paper pads, you have paper that is usually scrap. Or if you want to save some for the, you know, you want to use a brand new one with all sorts of cutouts and that kind of thing, that's up to you. Um, I just, what I normally do is I find something that fits, um, that fits the cut I need to make. And then I just find cut aparts. I, I have a ton of them. Um, I have a, um, it's like a plastic storage container of cut aparts. I, if they're specialty like mermaids or unicorns, and they go in the mermaids or unicorns. I have one for Disney. I have one for Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, 4th of July. Those are the only ones I have so far. And then um, I go by color after that, so. But this is one I made earlier. It does not have a cut apart on it yet. You can see, it'll get one on it. It'll get embellished. And they're gonna go for three bucks. All right, guys, if you have any questions, leave them below. Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks so much for everything. I appreciate you guys coming by and taking a listen. Talk to you later. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. I just want to take a quick moment um, and say a huge thank you to Pam and Starly. Um, they sent me a gift in the mail, and I'm so thankful. They sent me some really cool stuff from Hobby Lobby. They got... Um, Probably gonna try to focus on my face. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there we go. Unicorns and rainbows. And oh man, there we go. More unicorns, paper clips, smiley faces, big unicorns. Oh, it's just awesome. So I've got some washi tape here. And then I got, um, let's see, got some coffee washi tape. Yeah, coffee. And then I got some more unicorn washi tape. Let's see. And then I got some donuts and sprinkles to go with the coffee washi tape. Um, it's really, I mean, these girls, you guys, they are so sweet. And then the, got some stickers. I don't know if you can, you can tell. Unicorns, cause you know, this girl loves her some unicorns. <laughs> and then the piece de resistance, as they say. Whoop! It's Halloween, Star Wars. Let me see if I can get it. Ah, how cool is that? I'm gonna, of course, make a tote bag out of it. You guys know me. Um, so anyways, big heart. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Um, thanks for thinking about me, number one. That is the most, the best thing is that somebody's thinking about you. Presents are secondary, but the fact that someone's thinking about you is awesome. So thanks so much, you guys. I appreciate it. Um, and actually, I'll go ahead and break into this right now. Hope it's okay with Pam. Um, 
So my husband and I are going to North Carolina for vacation. We finally decided to go stay at my mom and dad's house. We're leaving the puppies here. Um, mom, dad, I know you're watching this. Um, I don't think it's gonna be an issue, but I was afraid that Luca would tear up your house when we're not home, um, when we're not there. I, she'd be fine when we're there, but when we're not there, I don't know how she'd do in a new house. I almost fell just then. That would have been funny to have on the vlog. Or not, probably not. But, um, so Pam and I are gonna get together for a whole day, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. Shh, I can't talk about it, because this girl is so excited about it. So anyways, um, yeah, we're gonna go shopping, we're gonna get some lunch, um, and we're gonna go shopping. <laughs> Our poor husbands, Sterling, I can't wait to see Sterling and Home Baby Journey. Oh, you guys, I'm so excited. So anyways, um, I just wanted to take a quick second and say thank you so much. It means the absolute world to me that you guys thought of me. So, so excited. Thanks guys.